the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kid stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators. You're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kid stealing, wheeling, dealing, limo jet flying. I'm fresh to death, I'm Paul Barry, not at all scary When I open like Betty Wops and find to these urkels that's going in like a carry shot Woo! I'm going in like a Mary Pop off that Mary Crop at the top flow at the Marriott So questioning me is like questioning you See we the best dressed, so come and get blessed with the crew Not one but two, different ways to slaughter your crew Commit a tat across the chest, I guess she blessed with the truth People want to see them checks, representation of proof Living through my elders trying to resonate to the youth But ain't nothing to get my flash on Legevity is heavily embedded in my melanin Layman terms, I last long My ground repetitive, I'm smoother than real silk Lyrical cash cow, who can't cry for spilled milk We in here, you talking to the Rolex wearing Diamond ring wearing Kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying We Rick flaring This preparation with greatness Industry full of fakeness is really up for the taking See life is what happened to you More so how you take it Don't get stripped of your knowledge And mentally leave you naked I like to live otherwise I'm sorry that I'm fresh to death I put the polo and apologize See black sun We ain't nothing like the mother guys Quit to socialize You organize Then we mobilize off the deep end like a scuba diver And no confusion, just keep it pushing like Uber drivers Woo! Business fresh just like a supervisor In a Gucci visor, can't find a smoother rhymer You talking to the Rolex wearing Diamond ring wearing Kiss stealing, willing dealing, limo jet flying We Rick flaring on us, flaring on us Just tell me what is we doing, get into it, okay, look, I'ma say this and keep it moving My boy Scotty, man, he off of the leash, black grab, paying college, I'm glad that he called me Walk it, cause we all been taught that talk is cheap, even primetime no Scott for the HBCU streets Good morning, people out there, you can let me Alright, so boy Scotty, you already know what it is, it's the morning show, I actually woke my ass up early this morning Got up, brushed the teeth. You can see I still got my Colorado shirt on. 
Shout out to my man Prime for sending me the gift package. You already know I got my Colorado. I got my Colorado shirt. Got my Colorado number one finger, baby. Slash oven mitt. You see how I grab it? It's like it's like my new Colorado oven mitt. You know what I'm saying? Like I so when I like I get my pizza out the oven, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ooh, yeah, hot. Ooh, hot like these buffs, baby. Hot like these buffs. All right, go buffs. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen, we do the morning show today. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Hey, as you know, breaking news. Uh last night Mike Reed broke the news that Vincent Dancy will be going to um will be going to will be going with Dion to Colorado. All right, that is that is the breaking news going on. Start this start the day off with the story is that he will be going to Colorado now from people that from all oh, from sources that I've heard from the off script news network is that uh, Dancy will be going as a defensive analyst, but also be coaching safeties. All right. So that will be his role at Colorado. Listen, sometimes you just got to make the right friends to go to the right places. Okay. I'm going to say that again. Sometimes you got to make the right friends to go to the right places, all right? See, he didn't make Dion his enemy and, didn't re and is rewarded with a, a, with a nice paying job with less headaches, okay? He up in Colorado, big money, probably going to get paid the same amount he's going to get paid at the, as a head coach at Valley, maybe a little bit more, maybe about 150, 200,000. Even if it was less money, it's less headaches going to Colorado and coaching safeties, okay? So, shout out to Dancy going to Boulder, Colorado to be with Dion Sanders. Shout out to Dion for looking back and reaching back and grabbing uh Dancy out of that situation and uh bringing him up to Colorado with him. You can say it's bad, you can say it's good. However you want to say it is happening. However you want to say it, it is happening. Dion has grabbed Dancy and is taking his ass to Colorado. He is supposed to resign. He put in his papers yesterday. He's going to tell the team today that he's officially resigning as the head coach of uh, Mississippi Valley. Now, once again, it goes to the point of where does Valley go from here? Where does Valley 247 God, dog, I would have been deuces, okay? I would have been goodbye, Delta. And I'm not talking about the airplane company. I would have been gone. If they paying me 247 to coach some damn safeties, shh, I'm gone. What they say? F them kids. <laughs> F them kids. I'm <laughs> I don't literally be F them kids, but I would have been like F them kids. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'd be like F them kids. I am about to be up in Colorado with all the woo man. He wasn't even getting a hundred k at Valley. Yeah, that's not it. Yeah, I can't do that. So mm -mm. F them kids. F them kids. Do you hear me? F them. Anyway, I would have been gone. But where does Valley go from here? Oh, uh, man, that's tough. Uh, if you don't know, Valley uh, hired a new AD. His name is, uh, I think it's Hakeem, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this will be his first hire. Uh, this will be his first hire as an AD for, the, uh, for, for, I think, any coach, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe his second. Well, I think he hired the basketball. If not, then this will probably be his first hire. Uh, I don't know where they go from here. Honestly, I, I don't see anybody banging down their door to get this job. And with all the, the administration issues that go on in Valley, not having a full load of scholarships, it takes a very special individual, a very special coach that is willing to put his nose in the ground and get it out the mud. Because that's all this job is, is truly getting it out of the mud, especially competing with counterparts that even with their own administration issues and their own problems, they're at least giving the full allotment of scholarships. They at least get some funding for the football program. You know what I'm saying? So you're 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 literally climbing an uphill battle. But I'll tell you this: I this is the this is the catch twenty two with a valley job, right? Because it's like this: if you go to Valley and you win at Valley, okay. I want to uh, just think about this: if you go to Valley and you win at Valley. 
who really is going to give you the recognition, right? And okay, stay with me. Stay with me. I'll say this. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to the white man's ISIS coda, but I'm saying this. If you win at Valley, the only people that are going to really, really give you the credence or the really the 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 uh, the revereness that you deserve winning at Valley is going to be the people in the SWAT. Like, because they know how hard that job is, right? But I'll say this, though. Good example. If Valley would have beat, I think they played Tarlington State this year, which was a very close game. If they win that game, then maybe you start getting your program on the map. Maybe you start turning it around and things like that. So, I, you know, I just don't know the benefit of really coaching at Valley because is, is if you're trying to use Valley as a stepping stone to get your next head coaching job, to me, honestly, the only next step is probably a better job in the SWAC. And then once you get a better job in the SWAC, then maybe you could take that next step into, you know, a, a, P, a group of five or whatever. That's how I feel like that Valley job goes. The Valley job, to me, in my personal opinion, if you start winning at Valley, does not take you outside of the group of five. I mean, outside of the SWAC to another job. That's just my personal opinion on that. Uh, who knows? The right person can get in there, turn it around, and three years, four years later, could be at a group of five program, and a, a coach or a AD says, hey, you did that here. I believe you could do better here. Da, da, da. Who knows? I'm just saying I don't see much of a win-win from – the Valley situation. But if you go to Valley, this is my thing. If you go to Valley, you need to be looking at Juco should be your, it should be Juke. It should be high school. Juke. It should be, don't, it should be Juco high school drop downs. That's how I would do that. Juco high school drop downs. That's how I would, that would be my order of completion or order of, 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 importance because a lot of drop downs are not just going to come want to go play at Valley. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, bro, it's Valley. Okay. It ain't shit down here. But high school kids who are getting overlooked by the portal, you can get some strong considerations there, especially in the state of Mississippi and Juco kids looking to get out of Juco should also be looking that way as well. So that should be that, that that's going to be, that is going to be a, a job that I'm very, I'm going to be very keen on watching to see who they hire. I, I know a couple guys that are in the mix for that position. I won't say their names because I don't want them to be like, oh, whatever, whatever, people, oh, yeah, I heard you. So I know a couple guys looking for that job. Um, but, you know, understanding what the administration is going to do for you and how they're going to support that head coach, I think should be the, uh, the biggest thing. In regards to that, because you got to if you don't have support from the administration or support for people to believe in athletics, uh, I don't I don't see much of this going well. Now, when you start winning, everything changes. <laughs> winning changes everything. OK, winning changes everything. And I think Dancy saw a little support, maybe not from the fan base, but more so like people around the swag, you know, saying he's a good coach, supporting him that he's a good coach and looking to him like, hey, man, Dancy's a guy that you should be looking at. So, you know, I think you get some of those aspects and, and those admirations for people who win in that kind of position. But the administration also has to feel that way about their head coach. And we'll see going forward. Does it do they feel like what? But shout out to Coach Dancy for doing what he does. Now, listen, I hate to keep beating the dead horse, and I'm not going to talk about Deion Levy. I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm, where I'm going to next is this, right? For Jackson State fans, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all. And I kept saying, I kept saying, while Deion is working you, you should have been working Deion. I kept emphasizing that because the reason I'm emphasizing it is I'm going to break down how Colorado is doing the exact same thing that Jackson State should have been doing better of, right? And this is what I'm saying to you. I kept saying, is any of that money going to Jackson? When they're doing all these off-site things and 
Dion's throwing these promotions and Dion's throwing these parties and Dion's doing all this stuff for Dion. Why is it that, and I'm going to say this, why is it that at the last hour of the last time Dion's here, he finally sells Shadour jerseys? Right? Why is that? Why was he not selling though? And I kept preaching. I'm saying, yo, you guys will make a million dollars just off selling Shador jerseys. You would make a million dollars just off selling prime jerseys or prime pictures or auctioning off prime autograph Jackson State jerseys that say 21 on it or a, or a prime coach. You know, it's just really funny to me how Dion was allowed to use Jackson State as a stepping stone. And granted, you and people from Jackson can say all they want about how much exposure Jackson State got and all this. What did it say in what does the bank account look like? What does the bank account look like? That's all I really care about because at the end of the day, that's what should have been your main focus. And I'm going to break down, and you're going to be like, Scotty, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Scotty, you don't know what you're talking about. Hell, their TV, they'll do this. Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you I told you so because I'm going to keep saying I told you so. Everybody's like, oh, Scotty, FCS got a, we got, you know, we got the swag deal with HBCU Go. It's a million. I'm like, bro, you, <sighs> you have to strike while the iron is hot. And I'm going to keep saying it. The swag commissioner got took into the cleaners because. You didn't use all the leverage that you had. You didn't. You could not. You cannot tell me that Dion is worth more than a mil Listen, HBCU go with a pay five million just to Jackson, just to Jackson to have their secondary games. They would have paid five million just to Jackson alone. For their secondary games. Now, mind you, Dion could have left, and guess what? You still would have had a five million dollar contract based off Dion. That's when you sit back and smoke your cigars and say, "Hey, we got, we got what we wanted." You know what I'm saying? You would have been like, "Hey, that that Bama can leave. We still got five million dollars coming in." Okay, <laughs> where the rest of you Bama's at? Yeah, I ain't got no five million. <laughs> yeah, I ain't think so. Like, that's what you hold your hat to. But there is no financial gain that you can sit back and say, great, Dion did this for us, and we're going to have this going on other than a practice field. And I'm, listen, I'm not saying that stuff is not worth value. It is. So I'm not going to tell you that stuff is pointless or useless. I'm not saying it isn't. Great facilities. You know, every Jackson State person would say, hey, we already had the lounge in place. So that had no so that if that had nothing to do with Dion, let's take the players lounge out. Right. So you got the practice field. You got the American Airlines deal. How much is that coming back? Yeah, you, know, you know, what I'm saying? like the, all I was all I was trying to say. Right. All I all I was trying to keep telling y'all and keep preaching to y'all, keep preaching to y'all is use Dion the way Dion is using you. In the military, we have a saying: the army is going to use you. Make sure you use the army. And this is my point. I'm and I'm gonna get to my point right now. If there's one thing about them people. From the caucus of mountains. If it is one thing about them people from the caucus of mountains, they are going to get their money. They can be enamored with a black man. They can be enamored with a Hispanic guy. They can be they can be enamored with any. But if it's one thing about them people from the caucus of mountains, they gonna get this money, and they gonna make sure. 
business is done right. Now, I'm going to show you something about Dion's contract at Colorado, and it's the same shit that Jackson State should have done. I'm going to read this off to you. 55 would be slated at $5.5 million. Now, look at all the small, intricate details in this contract. They're going to pay him a base salary of five hundred k. They're going to supplement by $1.7 million for radio, television, and public appearances. That means while we're paying you $1.7 million, you're going to work for that $1.7 million. All right? You're going to work for that. Another $1.75 is promotion and fundraising. So, Deion Sanders, a black man, while we're paying you $1.75 million, you're going to go fundraise for us, and you're going to promote for us. And then another one point five for the development of student-athletes. That's how they broke that contract down. So we're paying you $5.5 million. Oh, you're going to earn this $5.5 million. And this is from the Denver Post, okay? This is from the Denver Post. So that is my thing. You know what? This is what Colorado said to Dion. You better get your ass off your shoulders. You ain't gonna give me shot up. You better make that money. You better get your ass off your shoulders and make this money. You better get your ass off your shoulders. You ain't gonna give me shot up. You better make that money. You better get your ass off your shoulders and make this money. Now, Scotty, what are you talking? I'm gonna break this thing down even further. Because I'm going to show you the, 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 the vision that white people have that black people don't, and you can't get out your own way. Let me show you something else. This is really going to blow your mind. Somebody said this to me. This is called the Buff Club, right? This is called a football excellence club. Let me zoom in, right? Football Excellence Fund. That's what it's called. Fo Make a prime investment. Look at these numbers. This is what Jackson State should have been doing from the goddamn jump. Deion Sanders hasn't been on campus for more than a freaking week and they already have a prime investment club for the football. This is a football excellence fund. He has not been on campus longer than a freaking week. Matter of fact, he's still coaching for Jackson. And I'm going to keep telling you this. White people don't care nothing about that exposure shit. They about getting this money. They're glad Dion got Twitter followers for them. They're glad Dion is adding value to their, to their school or whatever. But you know what they're going to do? They're going to exploit his ass. They're going to exploit his ass. And this is all I've been preaching from day one. Dion's going to exploit you. Exploit his ass. Exploit his ass. Take his ass for all he's worth. So now you still broke. You don't got no money. You ain't got no residuals coming in. But Colorado is about to. Colorado about to jump. And see, this is oh my. This is the thing, guys. And this is what I this is what was so frustrating. This is what's so freaking frustrating about. I've been preaching to y'all. I kept preaching. I kept preaching. I kept preaching. I'm saying, listen, go get the money. Go get the money. Go get the money. Go get the money. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Let me tell you this. If, if Jackson State would have did a football excellence fund, right, and Deion Sanders, and y'all can call me whatever you want. You can call me whatever you want. I'm about to put the, I'm about to put the link in the chat. All right. You can call me whatever you want. Right. I kept saying, get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. 
Now tell me this. If Jackson State would have fought, think about this. When Dion was doing all those promotions on Instagram, talking about, I'm here at Jackson State, we going to change it up. If you remember all that stuff, if you remember all that stuff, and David, that's a great question. I'm going to get to that. If you remember all that stuff, just imagine if Jackson State had a football excellence fund that you could have donated to from the beginning. Now, mind you, remember all the primates that came with Dion, me, other white people, other black people that knew nothing about. We're going to donate because we like Dion. It didn't have shit to do with Jackson State, right? That's just where Dion was at. We love Dion. So you would have got a whole bunch of money just because people love Dion. And if it and that football excellence fund would have been crazy for Jackson. Now, don't know how you was going to use it. I, I don't know how you was going to use it. Could have went to general funds. You know, y'all, y'all pretty shisty with the money. I ain't even gonna hold you. Y'all Bama's is pretty shisty with the money. So Who's to say Dion would have even seen a dollar, a dime of that money? I do not know. All I'm saying is this. If you would have set it up the right way in the beginning, you would have had an avenue so people could have donated to whatever Dion was promoting. The dude is going viral every freaking day. Everything from well-off media is damn near a million views. If every, if every well-off media video was saying go donate – to the Jackson State Excellence Fund. Make sure you donate to the Jackson State Excellence Fund. Everybody, $10, this, $5, $100, blah, 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 blah. You, do you understand how much money that you would have been bringing into the school? But y'all Bama's only talking about, so, y'all Bama's only talking about, oh my God, look at our social media page. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my, and you're not making any money off the man. <laughs> You're not making any money off of the man. That's all I'm saying. I do not care that Dion left. I do not care. That is his prerogative, his business. Jackson State, you dropped the freaking ball with not profiting off of Dion. And I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to what David said. I think it's a great question. Do you think Dion would agree to those terms? I do. He had no leverage. He had no, listen. See, when you're in a when you're in a okay. Let me let me let me explain. And I want to I want to leave that question up. Great question, David. I want to leave this question up. When you're looking for a when you're looking for a favor, because let's be real, what what Jackson State did to Dion was a favor, was a flat out favor. Dion had no leverage. Jackson State was taking all of the risk. Ashley Robinson was taking all of the risk. The reason that was not put in the contract because you didn't know your own value. And I'm gonna be a I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with y'all. I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with y'all, and I'm I'm not gonna talk about anything I do not understand. I'm gonna use myself as an example, right? My key, my girl, right? My fiance. She always talks about, babe, you need to start consulting. You need to start doing this. You need to start doing that. And she gives me a price. She was like, you need to set your price at this point. And me, I'm like, dang, that's a little too high, babe. Like, I don't know if I'm bringing that much value. I don't know if I'm, da, 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 I, I don't know if, if I'm worth, you know, somebody paying that much to consult with me. You know what I'm saying? So Key has to constantly keep convincing me that you're worth this price. Look at what, what, look at what value you bring. Look at the stuff you've done. All this thing. Look at your resume. But my mind, but my mind is like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Right? So the thing, the, 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 I'm going to flip it back to Jackson. Right? Jackson didn't understand his own value in helping Dion. Right? You, the Rose had, as soon as Dion, as soon as you made the contract, it seemed like Jackson State and the roles reverse. Jackson State never felt like the parent. They never felt like the parent. They felt like the child in this situation, and Dion was the parent, right? Not understanding that, Dion, you wouldn't have this platform if it wasn't for us. You wouldn't be national news if it wasn't for us. You wouldn't have got this Colorado job if it was not for us. 
So they lost their leverage. The, the celebrity of Dion made them sub, uh, subvert their position, made them flip the role because they were so enamored and they were so caught by the celebrity of Dion and not the business of college. I'm going to say that again. Jackson State was so caught up in the celebrity of Dion that they gave up their power position. And that's why Dion was able to dictate as much as he was. How I but you I don't agree with you off the you know, Jackson State, so I get a capitalize. They should they didn't. They did not. That is t- like you got to understand when you're when you're only a, I want y'all to understand this, right? If you're only allowed in a place if somebody gives it to you, gives you an opportunity, how are you in power? How are you in power? How was the only reason Dion was in power is because Jackson State gave up their they, they gave up the position. They took all the risk. Cause think about it. If Dion doesn't pan out, Jack, Jackson State's the laughing stock of the swag. Think about that. If Jackson State, if Dion comes to Jackson State. And they lose consistently. They are the laughing stock of the SWAC. The laughing stock. They are the laughing stock of college football. So once again, Jackson State was so enamored by the celebrity that they didn't think about having a contract like that. They didn't think that. Right? You could have got this. Ah. Uh, you could have got to 500K, 300K being the base, another 100K for promotion and fundraising, another 100K for promotion and fundraising, right? Let me bring this back up. Uh, another 100K for public appearances and radio, right? Was he going, he wasn't going to say no. Dion was not going to say no. He had no leverage. How was Dion going to say no to something that he had no leverage? None. None whatsoever. So how in the hell was he going to say no? Nobody else was going to give him a job. But once again, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it for the people in the back. One thing about them people, from the caucus of mountains, is they about their money. They about their money. And I'm going to say this with Jackson State, and I kept saying it, and everybody kept saying, thank you, Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. Thank you. It, it's, it's just as simple as that. It is just as simple as that. You want to get paid 5.5 million? Go earn 5.5 million. You want to go pay 5.5 million? Go earn 5.5 million. And Sean, no, he is not. Not in his contract. In in Nick Saban's contract, he is not obligated for any fundraising. Not in his contract. That is a lie. That is a flat-out lie. That is not it. He has a base salary, and it's a 9.9, it's a a 9.5 talent fee. That's all they pay him. He has a base salary and a a 9.5 million talent fee. That's it. That is it. So let me open these call lines up because I know. But I'm going to say this, and I, I, I keep preaching it, and you guys, you, everybody kept calling me a hater. Scotty, you're a hater. Scotty, you're a hater. Scotty, you're a hater. No. Being in the position that I've been for the past two years, I understand business. Being around, that's why, I, listen, you can't be the smartest person in the room. You can't. 
You cannot be the, if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to change your friends. If I didn't have the mentors that I have, I wouldn't understand business. And business tells me to capitalize on every opportunity, to see everything as an opportunity to make money, especially in a situation where you're lacking, right? I'm not a millionaire. I would like to be one one day, but in the position I am now, my eyes have to be open to figuring out how can I monetize every possibility in front of me? How can I monetize my time? How can I monetize my efforts? How can I monetize my talents? How can I uh, ma maximize or ma monetize my gifts? I got to figure that all out. And Jackson State was so en enamored with the ride, they missed the business. I'm going to say that again. Jackson State fans were so enamored with the ride that you miss the business of the game. And I kept trying to preach it. I kept trying to preach it. I kept saying, why are you not selling jerseys? Why are you not doing merchandising? Why is Dion not doing this? Why is Dion not doing that? How much of well-off media is going to Jackson State? Because mind you, well-off media has to show Jackson State in the photo, in the recording. Everything that well-off media does, they had to show Jackson State something, a name, a practice, a building. Are we not getting paid by that? How are we not getting money off that? You making money. How are we not getting money off of that? That's that's not that's not crazy. That's business. That is business. Just like if I went out here and sold a Jackson State shirt, Jackson State gonna be like, bro, that's our logo, that's our likeness. Can we get some of that? Can we get some of that? But nobody, when you was getting. There is one other participant in the conference. Now, when 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 you was get when they were getting all the money, and they were doing all the well off media stuff, and you and everybody just enjoying it. Ooh, Scotty, you see that new well off media? Ooh, Scotty. Oh, Dion said he's not going to Nebraska on well off media. Ooh, Scotty, Dion said he's not doing this on well off media, and you watching. And he's recording your school. And all that money is going to the Sanders household. Come on, man. Y'all can't be that dumb. Y'all can't be that naive. Y'all can't be that lost in the sauce. You watching something that is making money off your school and none of the money is going back to your school. But we gonna move on because I'm I'm just I'm just hate I'm a hater. I'm a hater. It, it's not that the AD dropped the ball, right? It's not that the AD dropped the ball. He was just too scared to ask. He was too scared to listen. I don't care what nobody says. If I see well off media, if I'm an AD of the institution, right? If I'm an AD of the institution. And I see well-off media recording everything about my institution. I'm going to need some of that, my boy. I'm going to need some of that, my boy, because you wouldn't have the platform if not for my institution. I'm going to need some of that, or you can't record no more. It's that simple. If it's not done through the school, you can't do it. But people were so scared of Dion. Big bad Dion. Oh, I don't want to ruffle any feathers. He was going to leave anyway. He was going to leave on his own accord anyway. So you too scared to ask for something to do? You scary. You're sc you were scared. Like, bro, you can't. I'm, I'm, I do not care what y'all want to say. Oh, this. No, you were scary. You didn't want to ruffle. You want to see, and this is the thing when you're dealing with celebrities, right? 
a lot of people just because you a celebrity, oh, oh yeah, I don't wanna, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do that. Like, no, you got he's doing a job. I'm doing my job. My boy, you work for me. I hired you. You work for me. And it's not even off no disrespect type of stuff. Like, you a man, I'm a man. But if my school is not making money off well-off media, then you cannot record. How are you going to put them on staff for... I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, Cause y'all, y'all gonna make me go down a rabbit hole that y'all don't want to. Y'all don't want to hear. All right. Last but not least, shut, listen, man. When I tell you I am the biggest Ken Griffey Jr. fan, it's ridiculous. All right. When I tell you I'm the biggest Ken Griffey Jr. fan, it is absolutely. I love that Swingman logo, Ken Griffey Jr. If you're watching this, please. I love. I love you, Ken Griffey. The kid, hat backwards. I love it. That's the only reason I wanted to play baseball because of King Griffey Jr., all right? Shout out to King Griffey Jr. He's doing an HBCU Classic. It says, MLB and King Griffey Jr. have announced the first ever HBCU Swingman Classic, an annual showcase for 50 D1 players from HBCUs. Can we clap it up? Can we clap it up for King Griffey? He said, I see a problem with black players not being MLB. I'm going to do something about it. All right, these, uh, this gives kids a chance to play the game they love on a national stage. The first game will take place at 2023 All-Star Weekend in Seattle. Shout out to King Griffey Jr. Shout out to the HBCU Classic. Shout out to Major League Baseball. It is what it is. We already know uh, without the integration of blacks being in baseball, we took that sport to a whole other level. Now, Hispanics have taken over for us, and whites have continuously taken over, of course. That's their thing. But shout out to King Griffey Jr. for making this happen. I am super, super, super excited to see this. Uh, I'm going to try to attend that. I'm definitely trying to go to that. I don't care what y'all talk about. I don't even like baseball like that. But I love King Griffey Jr. I love the opportunity for our black men and women, I mean, our black boys, to be seen on the major league stage and uh, do what he do. So shout out to King Griffey Jr. for that. All right, listen, morning show. Uh, call lines are open, 518-263-8124, 518-263-8124. I appreciate everybody. Make sure you like the stream. I got 500 people in here. I hope I am making your Monday morning better at your job. And like Coach Dancy said when he went to Colorado, F them kids. All right, 32, 32, coming to you. Hey, call you live. What's up? What's up, Scotty? I'm I'm a, a big fan. Um, so my name is Isaiah, by the way. What's up, man? Um, so all the things that that you laid out with the like the all the endorsements stuff like that. Do you think Jackson State could implement that with the next coach? And if so, who do you think would be the best coach to do that with? Um, listen, if you go back to celebrity hire, you got to do it. You you uh, listen. If you if you touch down with an Ed Reed or Ray Lewis. You can no longer miss out on any money opportunity that, that could be made for bringing in a celebrity hire. That should be the first thing on the agenda is, listen, let's start a football fund so that we can collect. I don't give a damn if it's a dollar, dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars or whatever. And it should be to where if you give over five or ten thousand dollars, you might get a picture with the coach. You get a signed picture by Ray Lewis. They could have been doing the same thing for Dion. Like, if you give over $10,000, you get a signed picture uh, with Shador, uh, Shiloh, and Dion. You see what I'm saying? Like, there was so much money to be made from that that they just dropped the ball. So the next time you, it comes around, you got to go get it. You got to go get it. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking my call, Scott. Oh, man, anytime, man. Appreciate the call, man. Yeah, y'all do. You need to get on. You need to get on board. The AD need to be doing the True Blue Fund, uh, Bleed Blue Fund. It shouldn't be just about that one year annual donation crap to the school. Listen, man, get in. Get in the business of getting people to donate money. Uh, twenty one eighty six coming to you. Hey, call you live. Yeah, you. You right too. Hey, hey Scotty, you right, man. You right. You right. My thing is, is, is that I'm trying to figure out 
they need to hire somebody soon, man. Because the way I feel about it, I feel like I feel like the reason why T.C. Taylor ain't the dude for the job is because right now you're supposed to be trying to holler at them players that's leaving with Brown. Absolutely. You're supposed Absolutely. to be in there. Like you said, you was coming to make history at HBCU. Come on, man. They need to put somebody in there that's going to challenge what Brown's doing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, somebody that's going to – and I think the, I think the AD should have had a backup plan all along because I think he knew Brown was going to leave, man. I think he knew that. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying. I, I, I just I just feel like they need down there. They need to they need to start pushing back against with Prime. Don't seem like they so scared of Prime that y'all literally let him come back on campus. Y'all got another coach that Prime and told her to be the coach, but Prime taking eleven players, and ain't nobody in them eleven players here to stay at JSU. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying, Scotty. That's all I got, man. Hey, appreciate the call, my boy. Listen, man, like. In Paris, I'm not seeing, and this is the thing, though, Paris. This is the thing, though. You, if you could donate to the 1400 Club, you know what Dion should have been saying in every social media post. Hey, don't forget, we got the 1400 Club fund. Make sure you support the football program. You know, donate to that. It's coming directly to us. Or a Boosters Club. If you have a Boosters Club, Dion should have been promoting that Boosters Club from the jump. Listen, I'm not saying you don't have it. What I'm saying is, is you did not use Dion to benefit it. That is the issue. You did not use Dion to direct people where to go to donate their damn money. That is the whole issue. So if you would have had people, if you would have drove traffic there, right, then people would have, in these two years, think about this, Paris. In these two years, if every time Dion finished the saying or every time Dion finished a uh, uh, a social media post and he said donate to the 1400 club that comes to the football team or donate to the 1400, the 1400 boosters club that comes directly to the football team in two years everybody would have known where to give their money and if if on top of that if Dion would have said if you give more than ten thousand dollars right or if you're on a subscription of more than a hundred dollars you get this. Or if you donate more than $10,000, you get this. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it incentive. Make it an incentive to do it. That's why I keep saying you drop the ball in the money aspect. That's all I'm saying, right? You, you donate over $10,000, you get a signed picture by Jimmy Smith and Deion Sanders. If you donate more than $50,000, you get a picture, you get a signed picture by Jimmy Smith and a signed picture by Deion Sanders. You don't think that they couldn't have made that happen? You don't think Jimmy Smith would have been like, damn, that's dope. They got your boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, Jimmy would have felt some type of way too. I built this just as much as Deion. It's little things like that that you do to make it work for you, but you were all you cared about was exposure. You didn't care about the actual dollars that were coming into the program. Uh, Sean, coming to you. Uh, Scott, I wasn't agree. I wasn't disagreeing. I was agreeing because you know, like er earlier on in all these coaches' careers that are power fives, they all have these meet the booster meetings. The you know, they show up to these fundraisers. They do all of this other stuff. Like, we see that. Well, I don't know if other people see that, but we see that at these other programs because they use, especially if it's a high-profile coach, they use that celebrity as a marketing tool to help them get the funds that they need to fund their athletic programs. Yeah. But I, I'm thinking, but I'm thinking that Jackson State was all not only Jackson State because it's not just them. We can't just put it all on Jackson. But I'm thinking that other universities and schools were already doing this. I mean, you got a great basketball coach speaking of Jackson State, a uh, women's basketball coach, and Coach Reed, who you could put out in front, try to get donors. Okay, maybe she's not a bigger name, but hell, she's getting she's in the NCAA's and running the damn swag every year. Yeah. Then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really seriously thought that they would put it together like that. Now, I know Paris said the 1400 Club and, and the boosters and all of the other stuff, but you're absolutely correct. If 
if he's there, he's the biggest commodity that you have. You have to use him to not only market your brand because he was on brand every time. 60 Minutes, Jimmy Fallon, um, Game Day. Where else was he at? Sports Illustrated. Um, he was somewhere else that was on TV. Like all of these things, he, he had the J on. Yeah. Right? So it those were opportunities, but you're right. Where's that, where's that little mini commercial with the little scroll down at the bottom saying donate to yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? Like that would have been excellent. You could, I, and they could have ran that on well off media. I might, let me tell you this though. Let me, a, uh, let me tell you this. And, and you know how well off, I'm going to do, I'm going to give you two points and I want your response to this. Imagine, imagine if he was on college game day and he said, listen, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what we're doing something special here at Jackson State. We got a we got the best booster club. If you guys want to donate to what we're doing here at Jackson State <laughs> on, on college game day. If he would have said that on college, imagine the money that would have poured in. It's those that's my issue with Jackson State and what they did. I don't give a damn that Dion left. I do not care about what how many swag championships. We're trying to up the money. Because that's what everybody keeps yeah. complaining about, the money. So imagine when he was on Earn Your Leisure and he talked about the Booster Club. Imagine if he was on 60 Minutes and he talked about the Booster Club. Imagine if he was on Good Morning America and talked about the there Booster Club. There you go. That, all, those, all those opportunities to put Jackson State's funding, finances to the forefront so that they can roll in the money. Now, Dion can't say that we don't got $5 million for the football program because, one, it went to a booster and not the school, so the boosters mm-hmm. can divvy it out however they see fit. See, I, then he don't have an out. You don't give Dion an out talking about, oh, they ain't got no money for this and don't got no money for that. Like, bro, we got a $10 million in a booster. What are you talking about? If he was selling those prime seats instead of giving them away to celebrities, right, the prime seats are worth 50 k you know people would have paid 50 k would If I would have had 50K, I would have paid for them seats. I want to sit there. Damn, you know, you just, you just, damn, you right. The prime seats could have been the hot ticket. Come on, man. It, even if it was a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, there's some people up there that would have paid for the prime seats. Come on, man. At every home Come game. Come on, man. But re- you, you, you cooking with grits, bro. Look, what, what I'm trying to say is this, man. You're absolutely correct. The marketing strategy and plans behind some of the celebrity and, and that you have stinks. But guess what, though? This works for one of the biggest commodities in the HBCU space. The fucking band. Excuse me for cussing. The bands. It's the same energy for the bands. Yeah. Because they dominating YouTube spaces. When we go, JSU, this is how well off that y'all are, not no point intended. But your football program was all over so- social media and all over YouTube. Everybody else's universities, they bands was there. Come on, man. It, what are we, yeah, so what are we doing? I, I mean, but I guess you, I guess you got to. Fall on your head, man, in order to learn. I'm going to let you go because I know you got some more callers, but it's, that's the bump in the head, though. That's, that is. I right, appreciate the call, Sean, as always. Listen, guys, I'm not – and people talk about the basketball program. Listen, listen, you could – somebody need to put me in a department or something, okay? Somebody need to make an innovation or big idea department in the school because I can come up with it. You could – you could have done pre-orders, right? Because this is how it works. People are talking about, people love to say this, Scotty, we don't have the money to make jerseys and sell them. You don't need that. It's called a pre-order system. You could have had a pre-order system for Amisha. Could have had a pre-order system for Maya. Could have had a pre-order system for Zariah. I love Zariah. I'll buy her jersey. I love Zariah. Shout out to you, Zariah. Uh, you could have had a pre-order for uh uh the other girl the, the the other girl that won player of the year the, the point guard you could have had a pre-order system to where you're not you're not up you're not paying the money up front right you you want to see the interest first you want to see the interest before you're buying a whole bunch of jerseys that nobody wants so you do a pre-order system of two, maybe two girls' jerseys, Amisha and Maya, or yeah, Amisha and Maya. 
you do their you do a, or a Misha Maya and Deja. You do a pre-order system for them. Maybe you get a hundred orders and you you pre-order them for like two hundred dollars. They cost you seventy five to get made, and you done made money. All right. You done made money. It's, it's, it just bothers me. Nobody wants to think outside the box. Nobody wants to try anything. I just want to sit on y'all lords and say, oh, my God, alumni, please donate. Please donate. Give. Give. Uh, give. Do something for your alums. Do something for them. Fam, you in the same damn boat. Xavier Smith should have been having his. Xavier Smith was literally fam you. How in the blue hell. Do you not sell? Okay, let me say this. I'm sorry. Let me apologize. Let me apologize. Let me apologize. It's being difficult because you got the NIL deal money. So let me let me give a full let me give the full parameter before I go off on a spill. You would have to split that money with some. You have to split the money with the athlete because you're using their their you're using their likeness. So some of that money would have to go. Don't know if the school can make it happen. So let me stop that. I'll stop it right now. I'll stop. I apologize. I'll stop. I'll stop. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of moving parts to that. So I'll, I'll let it go. Hey, Rocky, coming to you. Hey, what's up, Scotty? What's up, man? Hey, man, I, 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 I want you to just think about it. Just think about it, right? All your ideas are very uh, good ideas. And they're already being implemented at other colleges, right? Already being implemented at other colleges, right? But check this out. I think the money, the financials between Dion and the school broke down very early in their relationship, right? Because Dion literally stopped. I mean, he didn't do anything to help raise money for the school for any cause, for any reason. For any, rather than raising money for the field house, like, like really, he could have raised money for the field house. Like he could have done that, right? And got the money. But he chose to pay for it because I believe, this is just my theory, that he didn't want any money run through, running through the finance or the business office that was, that was tagged for football. He didn't want anything going through the school, using the school as a, buy, as a pass through to get to his team. Well, that's, that's why, what I but that, but that's why you use um that's why you use boosters. Booster like that's why you use booster clubs. Booster clubs are affiliations, but they're not directly like the if so, so it depends on how it's set up and who is in charge of the booster club. See, nope. see, there are there are booster clubs where the people that are appointed to the booster club, chairman and vice chair and all that, school officials actually appoint them. You know what I mean? So they're they're really gonna do the bidding for the school. Okay, stop, I don't stop, think stop, 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 money stop, for stop, 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 stop right there. Stop right there. If that okay. was your if that's your concern, then build a booster club with people you trust. Dion could have made his own Absolutely. booster club. He would have made he could have made his own booster club and said, Hey, this is what we're gonna do for Jackson State. We're gonna make a new booster club. It's called the 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 prom blue or blue blue prom or whatever you want to call it red and blue prom blue blue prom whatever right to where you have somebody that you trust on staff right so maybe a uh maybe T C Taylor uh because he's a you know because mm-hmm. he's a because he's a Jackson State guy so you you know have you, you would have healed it. He would have made sure the money went to the football program. So having somebody like a T C Taylor on that staff so because even if Dion leaves and even if T.C. Taylor leaves, he's always going to have a connection back to the school. And that's what you want. Somebody on that board or chairman that is going to have a connection to the school. So prom would have been a part of it. T.C. Taylor. And then you go get a business guy, a businessman outside of the school who's connected to the school that wants to be a part of it. And that's how you build it. Listen, man, if you want it, you can build it. If you can dream it, you can build it. But go ahead, Rock. I just want to say that. Go ahead. I, I don't think I don't like I say, I don't think that was necessarily like like the football team should have had its own fund. It should have had its own fund to take care of the things that it needed to take care of outside of what the framework the school could provide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He should have had a, a separate fund, right? But the way like the way the biz like when you talk about Dion paying for meals out of his own pocket, like that don't even make sense to me when as popular as Jackson State is, all the social media brands that are tied to that school, why was he having to pay for stuff outside of, outside of 
pay for meals. Also, this is something that was very peculiar to me. Like, I'm not, is that why was Bucky allowed to create a separate media platform to where he could benefit from it using nothing exclusively before Colorado now? Just Jackson State content, and he wasn't, there was no licensing or no, you know, other than, I guess, his approval by Dion before he posted or whatever. Like, why was Bucky able to do that? And then, even more so, if Bucky ran, Dion said he ran all the social media for the school, why didn't the school have Bucky on payroll? Like, all those kind of things, to me, make are are, are red flags to where there was some type of, I I, I guess, uh, tug of war over what Dion thinks the school should be providing for him and his team and what they would just go out and do on their own and not need clearance from the school. Because all anything filmed on the school property, anything done for the school, anything done exclusive access to the football team, by right, I think the school should get a piece of it. But it didn't seem like that was the case. And, uh, and, if, and, if, and if Bucky was also running the social media for – Jackson State seemed like he should have been either paid as a contractor or an employee. Like that was that would have been the only fair thing to do. But I don't know, man. It seemed like the money thing was all jacked up as to, and there were no real lines of who was responsible for what as it relates to Jackson State football. And I think once you break down the trust between the two pieces, whether it's the administration and the football team, once that trust breaks down, how do you repair? where you can go back to trying to get money together. Let me say this, Ron. I'm going to say this, and I I want your response to this. It's real easy if you're allowed as a head coach to promote your son to social media and keep out all the media that you don't want on. You see, it's real easy when you can dictate everything. And this is what happened when you (laughs) let somebody just walk around and be in the dictator and nobody challenges them. Nobody challenges them. So you can you can kick out. You only allow the people you want to allow. Right. But then mm. the people you allow don't have to give anything back to Jackson. That does, Anything back to JSU. That does not make sense to me. Now, I, I get it. Coaches should allow coaches be like, hey, I don't want this person in here. I don't want this person in here. OK, but we don't want Jackson State. If I'm the president of the AD, I don't want all my football business out in the street. And if it is out in the street, it, but we better be getting paid off of it. But once once again, if you're scared to speak up, if you're scared to say something and you just allow stuff because you don't want to ruffle any feathers of Dion because you don't want to be on Dion's bad side. This is what you have. This is what you have. So it's and, and I think they were very strategic about like mentioning that Bucky was not paid. He runs the social media accounts and then making it clear that he had to pay Bucky out of his pocket. You know what I mean? Like he he paid, but like that was to me. All those things are kind of strategic to let people know that, you know, I'm doing this, and the school is not contributing. You know, I, maybe that wasn't it. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But you know, it's funny that we know the, we know those things, right? And and other things are that that like what you're talking about about real fundraising, real creating a fund for the team that's not necessarily a Dion fund. That's a fund for the team. That, that will transfer and support the team. And when Dion leaves, if he had $30, $40 million in the fund, it's, it's hard to leave when you got that kind of money in the fund. That, that you, you know what I mean? That's for Jackson State. You know? Absolutely. So I agree with you 100%, Scotty. The framework all was all messed up. and But, but I think you got to have some framework before you start. Before you – because you can't – once what I can't remember the saying, but – it's hard to put things back in the box once it's out. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got you. But, hey, appreciate the call, Rock. Listen, All right, bro. Hold on. Uh, this, is my, this is my issue, guys, because a lot of you guys are just making comments, but you got to understand at the end. <sighs> I'm I'm not gonna say nothing else, man, because y'all y'all don't y'all y'all don't y'all not y'all not getting it y'all not understanding it. Uh, Dre, coming to you. Hey, what's up, man? Um, I think first, I, I, I'm happy for Danzy. I think he's gonna learn so much. Um, being under Dion, being around other coaches, 
He's going to learn so much. Um, I remember KJ Black said on Spaces maybe a week or two ago, he learned so much um, just talking to the coaches at Florida about football, you know, because the HBCU space is so, you know, for the most part, everybody knows each other, this, that, and the other. Sometimes you just have to learn something different. And learning under Dion, I think he's going to learn the business of college football, how it's done, how you should do this, just stuff that he just probably wouldn't have been exposed to. So I think it's a great opportunity for him. But I think where, you know, I agree, um, like I say, he dropped the ball. And, and once again, I think that comes to just exposure. If if you've never been around how certain things are done, you don't think about it. And Dion's a vet. He's a vet in this game. He don't Dion don't sign bad contracts. He just don't. You know, so you're at a disadvantage even if you are a university. Dion ain't signing no bad contracts. So a lot of people benefited because the pregame show benefited. His son benefited. And it didn't like Jackson State was uh had a social media department, a paid social media department. So I'm interested in how would that work with them controlling something that they're not paying for because they're, because they're media. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how that would work because that means that, you know, they would have to ask something from you and Blue. And basically everybody. They would have, no. have to ask something from everybody. So No. That's I don't not, know. No, because we're not. I'm asking because I don't know. No, we're not using the school. I'm not using the school. I'm not, I'm not walking on Jack State's campus and showing the school and making money off of it. I'm talking about Jackson State, right? I'm not on the campus. I'm not showing. I'm not showing campus facilities. I'm not showing campus. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not in the. No, I'm not in the school showing off the school to make money off of it. So they cannot come ask anything of me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so, 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 so basically, you think they should probably get some for the pregame show too? Then the pregame show it should be an affiliate of Jackson State, so they, they so. That's, they should be getting the money from the pregame show. They should be paying Neely to do something, right? And everything. They probably not because they probably not because affiliate means you're not an employee. Like, like if you're an affiliate, about it. if you're an official affiliate of the school, to me that means you're getting paid. Nah, because affiliate the is like because Tiger affiliate. Talk because Tiger Talk says they're not an official affiliate of the school. They say that. Because they say stuff yeah. that might go against what the school says. So if, but the yeah. pregame show, is, I'm I'm is I'm, a, I'm willing to doubt that they're not getting paid. I think I think uh, I'm willing to bet that they they're, they're just outside that because they could take sponsors and all that. And who sponsors sure the pregame show? Oh, uh, I think one time they had BioFreeze. Another time they had. Uh, they've had a couple of different sponsors. I, I mean, and, and it's not shocking because if, I'll say this: Dion's a magnet. I'll say this: if at any point in time they made money off that channel, they should be giving. Oh, they definitely made money. They, you they, know that they need to give money back to Jackson. Well, off media, nearly all them Bamas need to get money off. Jackson State should have been making money off all them Bamas. It should have been so, like it should have been like seventy. It should have been like even 70, 30, 60, 40. Jack State gets 40%. They get 60%. There should have been a percentages breakdown of whatever they made off of Jackson. Because you are you are literally you are literally speaking on the school and the backgrounds and all this stuff that's going on with Dion. Dion is an employee of Jackson. Dion is an employee yeah. of Jackson State. Yeah. But of course, they probably the, the way they probably thinking like, "Hey, we ain't have a social media presence anyway," so they almost is like, "What does that you know, mean?" They're basically happy. What does that mean? Oh, we didn't have a social I'm not, media I'm, presence. What does that no, even mean? I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying that. I don't agree with you. I'm saying their thinking was like we didn't have a social media presence anyway, so they were just happy for for the eyes. You see what I'm getting at? No, so they I'm wasn't not, even thinking that far. That's that's dumb. That's dumb. That's that's dumb business. We said the call, Dre. That's dumb business. That's dumb. That's dumb ass. Oh, my God. That, that's what I keep trying to tell y'all. All you guys cared about the exposure 
and not the money. Oh my God. Oh my God. We got over a hundred thousand people on Instagram. Where's the money? Where is the money from it? Jesus Christ. 8863 coming to you. Muted. Hey, what's up, Scotty? How you doing? What's up, man? What's your name? Where you calling from? All right, so check this. Uh, this Bernard Hunt just calling from Houston, Texas. Talk to me. So check this out. The problem, the problem going on right now, not just with Jackson, but with all these HBCUs, they don't know business. They don't know football business. Football is the most profitable thing in any college, which is why Dion went to Colorado. Why? Because they know the business aspect. They're sitting here having these HBCU games. They're not making money. The schools that is making money, they're not truly profiting off of everything they should be profiting off of. Like you just said, they should be profiting off of all these people who are doing shows and using Jackson State and Dion as they talking top this. They should be profiting off all this merchandise that Tom, Dick, and Harry is lining up selling on the side of the street. You have people going to games selling Jackson, Jackson State apparel and the school ain't making a dollar off of it. You have all these things going on, and the schools aren't making a dollar on it. You got alumni who call themselves alumni who don't know go support the games. You have, if, if, if I'm the school of Jackson State, I have a coach who we already know has stated he wants his staff to make more money. He wants more stuff for the football program. Me as a school, I should have been out in the community going to my small businesses getting them to invest into the school, into the football program, so we can have money to keep our coach here. But that's not just a school problem. That's also a commissioner problem. That's lack of them doing good business, signing bad deals. Then you get stuck in bad deals, and then you want to get out the deals, but it's already too late because you're already committed to something that's four or five years down the pipeline of tarnishing your program. You're not going to be able to keep good coaches at these schools like Willie Taggart, like uh, 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 Fred at Alcorn, like Dion. You're not going to be able to keep good coaches because you do bad business. And then when the white schools come around, they're able to offer these black coaches who don't get it from black schools, they're able to offer them more than what we're offering because we just do bad business. It's not that our enrollment's low. It's not that it's not that we're not getting the attendance, not that we're not getting the viewership. I mean, it's being shown. People watch the games. People show up to these Jacksonville games. How many times did Dion say, hey, y'all said we sold out the games, but when I look at the tickets... Gotta let you go when you say Jacksonville. <laughs> Gotta let you go when you say Jacksonville. Keep it moving, my boy. Good points, though. Great points. Uh, 4408, 4408. Gotta, uh, you're up. Hey. Hey, what's this, up, Mama this Harris? Mama, <laughs> this is Mama Harris again. Look, I just call and tell you, son, stop getting your pressure upset with these people. They do not understand business, just like the guy said earlier. All these HBCU, any the average black person does not understand business because they've never been in business, most of them. Most of them get a business, it normally fails because they don't know how to manage business. They just want to get in there, make a little money, do a little shine, get them a little car, Mercedes, something look good and shine. And we praise people like Dion too much. They looked at him just like you said as Jesus Christ Jr. They didn't care what he did. And the second thing, they uh, all I'm, I'm putting all of them in the same category because all these schools, we want to always get something out of the deal. We don't care about doing what's right for the school and for the children. If we're not getting a nickel or dime at the end, we don't care about it. So if whatever deal came through to try to make Jackson State money or whatever school money, the first thing in our mind is black people, what, I, what am I going to get out of it? What, what can I make out of it? That's how they had the bad deal with Tennessee State all these years because right. somebody was getting some money under the table out of those deals. And all these other deals that go on into the black university. That's why they have all these incompetent people so they can keep on doing the under 
table stuff that they constantly do. And that's why most alumni like me, I still give them $500 a year just because. But most people don't because they know what they're doing with the money. That's why they don't, we don't want to donate. People don't want to donate back because every time you hear something, it's somebody getting money under the table or, or doing something they don't have any business doing and the kids being neglected. And if I was Dion, I would lay out everything that I've done and didn't do, and I wouldn't care who know and who did know. And if I made a fool out of y'all, so what? Everybody else came along and made a fool out of y'all. So why are you getting mad at me? I'm, I'm, I'm just one person. And if you look, I didn't tell you to look up to me and make me your God. That's that. Anybody else would have came in and did the same thing, got what they wanted from Jackson State, and moved on by their business. So I don't know why they so upset and so mad about this man leaving and calling him a sellout and all this kind of foolishness. Get over it, do what you need to do, and go on about your business. And I know you try to, you know, I know you like me. It's in your heart to tell people what's right, and you really care about people because I know that's how I am, and that's why I still give to Jackson State. But it's so hard to continue to do that when they're constantly doing stuff under the table that you know not right. And these kids are constantly being behind and not doing stuff. They got a whole media a department, mass communication department there. Rob J went there. He could get the key, a group of kids to do what he's doing. That's he's going to soon probably be retiring. Then That's who's going to take his place? That's good. But they don't look at anything like that. They're just all about their self. What can I get out of this? If I can't get nothing out of it, I'm not interested in it. So that's what is the bottom line is. So, you know, and I, un, you know, I understand, I hear you on here, and I just like, let me call my baby, tell them, you, you got to just understand, these people don't care. They never had to care. They don't understand, we got to start putting our children first. Whereas, you know, instead of just, what can I get? These white people going to always put their kids first. They're going to do whatever it takes to make their school and their Whatever they got, shine. They don't give a done. Dion come up there, don't give him everything he wants. Now, nah, he start don't make that program advance, they're going to send his ass on by his business. And it's just that simple. Right. And they not, yeah, they're going to praise him for right now, but that's it. So just let these people go. Stop getting your pressure up. I mean, I know you're not getting pressure because we both get tight when we get talking about stuff. But anyway, just calm down enough. Keep your friendship, your relationship with Dion and Dion Jr. So when you get ready to go to Colorado, let me know. We'll be on a plane together, and I'll be flying up there with you. That's uh, all you need to do. And stop worrying about these people. Let Dion know, you, you know, and people respect you. And this is something else they should learn. You praise all these people that are praising this man. Who did he still send something to? You. And they talking about you the hater. People respect you when you do what you, you give them the respect. You don't have to sit up here and love on somebody and praise him. Say what you mean, mean what you say. If you demand respect and you respect people, they're going to respect you. And Dion respects you. No matter what you say, he has respect for you. So keep doing what you're doing, son. Thanks, and, I, and, and I'm going to get off of here and let you go and talk to somebody else, and I'll talk to you guys over the weekend sometime. Right, I love you and talk to you soon. All right, okay, bye-bye. You heard what Mama Harris said. She said you, you were... That boy respect me. Y'all okay? get you respect real recognized real and y'all Bama's looking pretty unfamiliar. Okay. I'm closing down the stream in 30, 40 minutes. All right, 40 minutes. I'm closing down the stream. So get your calls in. Uh JB coming to you. What's up, JB? Scotty, how you doing, sir? That's goody. Okay, a few things, and I'll be quick here. Number one, and of course we said this on your show several, several times, knowing how business operates. Once again, we keep trying to marry HBCU culture with college athletics business. They're going to butt heads. This is a, another example of these two butting heads. But there are two more things I want to this, uh, um, I guess briefly address. I know you're trying to get everything shut down. Um, one thing that I've said on the show, and, and sure other people said it also, go and see what other FCS campuses do. I mentioned this beforehand, my trip to Fargo I took. Do you know how many Carson Wentz and Trey Lance jerseys I saw people wearing in that audience? Several. And guess what? The school is getting a kickback on every single one of those jerseys that are being sold. Ton of them. And the last point I want to make, um, regarding all the stuff that happened with like um, 
the show you did about the rumors about like the uh, uh, Jay Sugar not being good with the money. I pray to God that that is not true. Because what's going to happen is that it's going to give us the narrative again of HBCUs not knowing what they're doing with their money and people not doing stuff right. Because if it gets out that, that there was any kind of investment stuff like that taking place, what celebrity or any high profile person is going to want to go to a school in which people are not good with the money? Who's going to want to deal with that? Absolutely. That's all I got, bro. Because hey, I know you got other people we want to talk to, so I don't want to take up your all your time. Hey, appreciate JB. I, I love what JB said. Listen, we gotta you gotta go. You gotta go out. Let's fam, you should be selling Marquise Bell jerseys. If we talk about people who graduated, I still don't understand why Jackson State ain't selling Walter Payton jerseys. I'm still but fuddled how all corn is not selling Steve Mc. Do you know how much money I would make off of Steve McNair's name? Do you understand? You don't. I'm still befuddled. It don't make sense. It is ignorance beyond belief. And HBCUs want to bitch and moan about what they don't have. It's what you don't do. It's what you don't do. I would be... Do you... Man, I would be selling Marquise Bell jerseys all up and through Tallahassee. I would be selling Bishop Bonnet jerseys all up and through Tallahassee. And then I would bring them back. And then I would have them sign them. And then we would get a percentage off. Man, I'm out here trying to get this money. Like Mr. Campbell said, are we trying to make money? Or are we trying to get girls? What are we trying to do out here? I'm trying to get this money. It's too, all y'all Bama's do is brag about legends and you don't sell shit. You don't promote none of them. Oh my God, we got, we got four Hall of Famers from Jackson. We got more than your power five. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, and don't sell nothing. Don't sell nothing. Not a picture, an autograph, a bobblehead, not a damn thing. Just got them just to have them. Mr. Campbell, coming to you. Okay, man, this is a great show, but I, okay, let's separate a couple of facts because, you know, with me, I like when you're doing your rants, but I want to clear up a couple of things because you just made a point. So let me, the reason why I put in the chat, he graduated, and because this is very important so people understand. When you are a student athlete, and this goes state by state, and Florida State ran this, you cannot directly compensate a student athlete depending on what state you are. So case in point, like Marquise Bell, well, let's just say Musa. They could not put Moose's name on their jersey and fam, you pay him because that would be a violation of the NCAA. That's why some of this, you don't see that. Now, for those that have graduated, that's why I made that point. They have to go to Carson Wentz and say, can we use your likeness and then we will pay you a fee. That's how that works. So when you see bigger schools, Texas does this a lot. They'll go and get Earl Campbell, Vince Young and those guys. They will pay them for their likeness and image to put on their jersey. They just can't do that. Same thing with Air McNair. Now, Air McNair, bless our, he has passed away. Now, whoever is over his whole business, they would have to go to him, negotiate with that family that's over his whole image and likeness, and then Alcorn would then have to pay him. That's how that works. You can't just slap people's names on say. Same thing with Walter Payton. Now, the thing about it is with Walter Payton, and I kind of know this for a fact, is Jack State did kind of do that, but the Payton family was like, we want X amount of money. They couldn't afford it because Walter Payton is a big name. So what they wanted to offer and what they were going to give back, so that's why you don't see this. I want to just clear that up, okay, for everybody. So you just can't slap names on people, and in college you just can't because of the issues with the with the NIL and all that. Okay, so okay, stop, okay. y'all need to stop okay, because wait, you don't wait. know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, okay, now, okay. Wait, 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 now, wait, 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 no, 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 not no, you, not you, no, don't no, listen. No, I'm, I'm just clearing up. I'm about to respond. So, so, no, so you you're fine. No, I'm, I'm trying to give respond. accurate information. I, I'm going to respond. I'm 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 going to respond to what okay. you just said. My okay. thing is this, right? You all you all you, you love to talk about some fam. You oh we business this business that. Well, let's, let's go do a third party. That's all. That, go do a third. Make have fam. You make a third party like Kofi did with the band. Make a third party. Have it work it out that way with the player and work it out with the school. 
So it all it all aligns together, and now you have an entity that that specifically works on players' jersey. That means you could go to somebody who has a manufacturing company. You go to somebody who can make them a a, a shirt company, a screen print, whatever. They have a partnership with the school. They have a partnership with the player. They work out the agreement, and everybody wins. That's how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to answer that. That, that. Well, okay, so I'll give you a perfect example. That's what Re Enterprises does. They have the JSU license. They went to Shadur. They went to Nugget. And then that's how Re Enterprises plays Shadur and Nugget. So, yeah, so that, that's already been done. So if you want to copy that model, but you got to find somebody. And, and again, everybody does not have that license. So someone has, and I showed you how to go get the license because yep. I have school licenses. Yep. I mean, you talked about that. Yep. So some independent person is going to have to go pay for the license and then negotiate that. So I just, I'm not trying to get too bogged down on that, but I just want to make that clear. Okay. On that, how that works. Now, here's the next thing. When we're talking about making money and I put this in the chat, only 18 goddamn colleges are profitable for athletics. So stop acting like all these schools are making money. Out of the 200 schools, only 18 are in the black. The rest are in the red. So athletics as a whole is a money-losing proposition. What most schools do and use athletics is to promote the school. So y'all stop acting like all these folks are making all this money because they're not. That is one of the biggest issues that the academic side, these presidents of these colleges, like Case in Point in Colorado, that president for Colorado don't really give a shit about athletics because he gets way more from academics. Then they had to beg him and tooth and nail to change that transfer portal. Colorado is a R1 institution. As a matter of fact, all the Pac-12 schools are. They get way more money from research. They wipe their ass with athletic money because the research money that they get, that's what they get. So I want to be clear on that. So when you guys are saying all this stuff, you got to look at when you talk about the business of it, there's two sides to that business. That's why when you see a lot of these academic heads don't give a damn most of HBCUs because this fam using the same argument. Our president is an academic head. He don't know shit about sports. He don't give a damn about sports, and he treats it as such. And that is the big problem. And this is all the schools. This is all the schools. Those presidents are academic heads. They don't give a shit about sports. They say they do, but go see who they go sit down with. They go sit down with the Ford Foundation, the Carnegie Foundation. Those foundations are giving them millions of dollars. So we got to kind of stop this when we just slam on HBC. This goes for all colleges. Only 18 make money. Okay? So I want to be clear on that. So when we get on here railing and talking all this bad shit about people, then talk about everybody. Because I'm, I'm just pointing out the facts. So if they say Google it. So that's what I, you know, again, I just hear all this stuff, you know, just really. So could Jackson State do better? Absolutely. Because honestly, Dion was too big for Jackson State. Just facts. And he moves quicker because Dion had all that stuff. When Dion came in there, he had everything in place ready to go. Because Dion is a businessman. He understands marketing. He is a promoter. Dion been promoting himself since 1989. For 30 years, he's known how to promote himself. His agent taught him that. So he comes to Jackson State, and it's a whirlwind, and they're trying to catch up. This is just all facts, okay? So, you know, slamming on him, doing this, doing that, and this is what I would say to Dion and to even the Jackson State people. If somebody's accusing you of stealing money, Jackson State a public state institution. Go do a goddamn audit because Jackson State alumni deserve to know if the money's getting stolen because it's not fair to them because they want to get another coach and make that same deal. We're going to give you ticket money and it's being stolen, then that person needs to be fired. Hell, they got rid of Carolyn Myers because that rainy day fund was gone. Five million dollars was missing. They got rid of her ass. So, Dion, if I'm him, then you go say, hey, y'all owe me the money. Let me show y'all. But all this back and forth, kit for tat, it makes everybody look bad. And I just don't like it just from, but I think there should be more grace on both sides. Just totally honest. It just needs because Jackson State helped Dion out, and Dion damn sure helped Jackson State out. Let's be honest about that. And I stopped saying, because if it weren't for Jack State, Dion wouldn't have a goddamn college degree, and he wouldn't be able to get that Colorado job. But I'll tell you what, the exposure that Dion gave Jack State, they can't pay for that. It's worth millions. But did you get They millions? got more enrollment. But did you get millions? Because you could have got, got a lot more money 
A lot more money. Well, no, no, I'm not. I'm not no, 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 no. I'm not arguing that. No, no. You're talking direct bottom line. I'm agreeing with you on that. See, that's what I'm talking about. When things move too fast, colleges don't move as fast as a person. Like I told you, I deal with that every day. I can't get shit done with a couple of colleges now because they're taking long, and I got money to give them. So that's what I'm saying. I understand how colleges do this bullshit. They can't help it. But I know what they don't care about. Me and you have talked about that. I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus, but I told you exactly the school I'm working with, I'm trying to give them money, and they still ain't emailed me back. And I got a major organization trying to give them money. This is how they do it, man. So, like I said, I just want to put that out there because people say, oh, doing this and doing that and all that. But let's just talk, let's talk facts. If you're going to make these arms, you're going to get on this platform. The Scott has a big platform, and people hear you talk and start taking this shit for gospel because I see it right here in this chat. Half of the shit y'all talking about is wrong. So if you're going to make a statement, at least do some research about what you're talking about. It's all right to have an opinion. Say your opinion on this show. But if you're going to get in here and start stating stuff as facts, then I got to call it out. Because people are listening to this. This is a very important show. So that's all I got, man. All right. We did the call, Miss Gamble. All right. Oh, man. Listen, man. When Mr. Campbell calls it, he's gonna hit you with some facts, but I still gotta agree to disagree. I just that's just that's just my forte. Like nobody's asking Jackson State to run in the black. Everybody understands football is probably when I talked to a president and he said football is the quickest thing to get you into the red. He said you have to have enough funding and enough uh enough uh pretty much like cash on hand to not be running in the red when it comes to football. But my thing is this. All I'm saying in the, in the aspect of Dion and Jackson is that you did not do enough fundraising. Listen to me. You didn't do enough public fundraising to fund your football. I don't care about, I don't care about the president. There are so many ways to go around having to get money directly from the institution that Jacks, that Dion and the football team could have done to get money to go directly to them, right? Celebration Bowl, I get it. That money didn't, you, you never saw that money? Cool. But the two years that you've been there, you could have started a fundraising campaign uh, just like your son started his own, his own media thing. Just like the pregame started their own media thing. You could have started your own fundraising outside of said school to provide for said football program. And there is no, there's nothing that there is nothing outside of that. There is no right. That is a fact. You could have started your own fundraising to get your own money for your own program, period. Uh, 9236 coming to you. Hey, caller, you live. What's good, Scotty, man? It's Ray. What's up, man? Talk to me. What's good, man? Uh, just a couple of things, you know, I just kind of noticed from the conversation and, you know, I'm a business major, got my MBA. I work for a fortune 50. <laughs> Shout, out <laughs> so, to you. Um, Shout out to you. Just, just give it some perspective. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, the first thing with this whole Dion Jackson state thing, you are correct. Um, in, in one aspect, you are correct with Dion could have taken the initiative to establish the structure at Jackson state to feed and supply the program. He's from Florida State. He's from a P5 school. So he knows what the structure of that looks like. The first thing is the problem. Well, the first thing that I see was the problem at Jackson was there was too many chiefs and not enough Indians. And what I say by that is you got Barstool, you got, well, whatever the, uh, that uh, Deion Sanders Jr. station is. You got all these different components. You got all these facets of branding instead of everything being branded under Jackson State. You understand what I'm saying? And I know some of this existed before Dion got there, whatnot. 
But, you know, that's the thing that I feel like Dion kind of played Jackson State on that part because you could have helped them establish that structure to give them that residual and give them that longevity, but he chose not to do that because you're not going to tell me this guy that can get you college game day, get you all this other, get you all this exposure, bring all these celebrities, get all this, all this stuff. He can't get those same people to donate to a fund to fund the program. Yes, he can. He chose not to do that. You understand what I'm saying? And for whatever reason he chose to not do that, we don't know. However, you know, it's disingenuous of some of our alumni in this chat and some that have been on this on these calls because it's, it goes back to that hypocritical thing you're talking about, right? Half of these people talking about, well, I don't want to get back because I don't know what they're doing with the money. Or I don't want to do this because X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Or you know, we all we all about bad business, but these are some of the same people that will go buy merchandise, buy school branded merchandise from an unlicensed vendor. <laughs> so, so no, like if, if if if, and that's the thing with HBCUs too. Like those little t shirts, you going to the little corner store or going to the little shop in the mall, getting Jackson State's logo put on a t shirt to wear the homecoming, you stealing from the school. Because you're not buying licensed product. When when someone is licensed, the school gets a cut of that money. Right. But we don't do that. Now nah, we'll go get our homeboy to go make a shirt. Or we'll go get this to go get made a shirt. You're still in front of the university too, just like you say they are. So again, take a look at yourself. If we want to talk about business on here, let's talk about business. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So it's a it's a whole overarching issue and it's it's something that's not going to be fixed overnight. Jackson State can't fix it overnight. Dion can't fix it overnight. It's a cultural mindset that has to be changed because I ain't paying them $30 for that shirt. Okay, but that half of that, I mean, maybe a certain percentage of that $30 goes back to the school, but you rather go take the cheap way. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't say that's just that's just like, you know, what you're saying about the and, and Mr. Campbell is correct. You know, you can't um you can't just, you know, take people's image and likeness and just use it without consulting if they're, you know, dead. You can't do it without their estate or you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whatever. And NIL kind of made it real, real fuzzy. But you are correct. There are different avenues that we could be using and exploiting, but we don't do that because we're comfortable where we are and don't want to challenge the status quo. So at the end of the day, until we start getting that ship right and we start shifting our mindset is not only people, but, you know, because it's still, again, you know, that's just like when donating money, people complain, well, it goes to the general fund. Well, I know I can't speak for anybody else's university. I can only speak for Alabama and m but you can't get mad because you don't like, like Dion said with the celebration money, right? Okay, well, that check from the uh, ABC or Disney, whoever the sponsor is, if they don't earmark that this money has to go to athletics, then the school can do what they want to do with it. Mm. So you can't be mad about that. That's just how that works. So when you make a donation, that's anybody. Well, every school is different. Every state is different. I'm just speaking from mine, from my own experience, because I donate a lot of money. So when I say that, when you donate to these schools, you choose, I know the A&M now, you choose to where you want to earmark. If I want to give this to the band, then boom, they give it to the band. And legally, by law, they cannot move that money to the general fund because I earmarked it to where I wanted to go. You understand how that works? Gotcha. But if you just giving me a boat, check if you're giving me five hundred thousand dollars to jackson state and there's no stipulation as to where that money should go or where it's stipulated the school is going to put it in the general fund so yeah your five hundred thousand dollars celebration bowl check going to be put to uh maintain this building or to go towards a capital building campaign or wherever else they feel like it's most needed if it's not earmarked but people don't understand that just because athletics make the money don't mean it go back to athletics if it's not earmarked for that. But again, that goes to ignorance for us to be so educated and be so, oh, we, we, we all this and all that. Well, okay, y'all will learn how y'all schools work. And everybody's not a monolith. Every state is different. Every board is different. Everything is different. Learn what works at your school. I can tell you every fucking thing about Alabama and up because I know how the money works, where it go, how it's spent. Every board of trustees meeting is public. 
we get on these forums and we start bitching and complaining about what's not this and what's not that. How do you think all of us knew about this bridge builder classic bullshit that was going on? Because we're involved and we know you got to be ahead of this stuff and you got to know how it works. But y'all get on here just, oh, uh, with Dion, it, Dion don't even know how it fucking works. So all he doing is coming to run amok on y'all. <laughs> That's what it was. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like I said, you you cannot, and a lot of y'all, and, and, and it's a tough reality, but it's the truth. We don't care about shit until it's already fucked up. That's real. It's, by that time, it's too late. That's real. It's too late. You done already, that goes back to your point the other night, shepherd and sheep. You understand what I'm saying? As long as you feeding the sheep food, they're going to follow you. As long as the dog chasing them and grazing them where they want to go, they're going to go. That's what you do because just like y'all say, everybody is content with the status quo. Y'all are too. We are too. I'm not going to say y'all. We as a collective. Let me ask you this. So at the end of the... Let me ask you this. My bad. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to land the plane. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) But, you know, again... Don't get on here talking about like you know business when you don't even know the basic principles of branding. You don't know the principles of 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 of, of the collegiate athletics. You going off your emotions and what you feel. That ain't how this works in real time. Trust me, these schools aren't doing anything that ain't on black and white paper that says they can do it. But until you lobby to change those things that you don't like and how they're doing it, it's going to stay the same. And that's just what it is, man. Let me so ask appreciate you, you taking my call. No, 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 Reggie, real quick, real quick, real quick. Because I, 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 I've called y'all to the carpet a couple of times. Why y'all don't sell a kill glass jersey? Again, I would say we need to do that. I, I, would, I would agree with you 100%. But again, we got to get with a kill. A kill got to agree that. They got to set an agreement. We go from there, move from there, do that. You know what I'm saying? But there's that, and I'm not going to, you know, shun away from that, Scotty. You're right. Like, like I said, there's a lot of room for improvement. You understand what I'm saying? But we got to, one, acknowledge that there is need for improvement because everything ain't pieces and cream. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't being ran right. You get on this, you got on this station and you have literally, and I give you credit for that. You bring a lot of attention to a lot of issues we're afraid or we're uncomfortable addressing because just like one of your other callers said that's a common thought amongst a lot of hbc alumni they don't like to give back because they don't trust what the school is doing with the money Mm -hmm. but there is a problem if you don't trust who over the money then why the hell are you content with them staying out you're robbing those kids you're robbing those students so what does that say about you you're content with it because you're just not going to do it because you don't know where it's going and you don't trust them. Okay, so why are you not challenging the people who can change while they're even there? It's excuses. That don't make sense. It don't make common sense, man. So at the end of the day, all these people in their feelings and their emotions, Dion did what he did. True enough, I feel like he brought a lot of good, but he brought a lot of, brought a lot of bad. And you... You put and you said this a couple of statements ago, and it is the 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 epitome of the truth. Jackson State care, and this is just my personal opinion. I can't say it's fact, but a lot of Jackson State fans care more about bragging at the fact that Dion was there than utilizing the resources they had while he was there. Oh, he got us here. He got us here. He got us there. But y'all, at this whole time, he running them up making all this money on all these other avenues that y'all ain't even thought about. And now y'all ain't think about it till he gone. Now it's dead. The opportunity gone. But you were so caught up and be trying to try to, that's, that's the black people mentality. What can I do or what do I have to make me feel like I'm better than you? Whereas instead of you trying to better your damn self, you still came out at the end. You still lost at the end. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's a whole two and a half years you had to capitalize and make more money than a damn lot of HBCUs in their athletic programs. But you didn't because you were so caught up in, oh, we 12 and 0, or we this and we that, and we got this and we got that. Bragging. What bragging got you? It got you left in the dust while he in Colorado smiling and grinning in front of these white folks talking about y'all crime and all this shit. <laughs> but now y'all, 
Now y'all expect those same black people that you turn your nose up at and you wanted to brag against. Now you want those same black people to feel empathy for you. That ain't how that works. You live by the same sword you die by. That's real. And that's real shit. <laughs> so at the end of the day, don't get on here talking about business if you don't know business. And a lot of y'all don't. You want to check my credentials? I can post my LinkedIn. Trust me, I work with it every day. I manage over three billion dollars a day. Hey, what? Let me get some of that so red. Let me get some of that red. <laughs> Come on, now. let me get some of that red. Hey, 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 you and you and the A now. My office is actually close to you down there at McDonough. You know, I work for Porsche, so I'm right there in Hateville. Oh, oh you, so, you, you know, work, you, work for, you work for Porsche. Yeah, you know, you know, we at the Avengers building, baby. You know, we make the money. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna text you after the show, uh, Red. I'm gonna text you after the show. <laughs> uh, and whoever said that, yeah, I manage it. I ain't got it. You true enough, but I got enough to where I donate to my university consistently. Let's compare that. Let's compare that. because uh, I guarantee you, and this can run those numbers. So people, there, there we go with that. But all right, man, Scott, you'll be blessed, man. All right, bro. You too, Red. Well, I got here. Well, you, you sure enough did. I grabbed that screenshot. I got my boy number. I'm about to text him right after the show. You think I'm playing? My, oh, 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 oh. Get up in the pool. You know, I want to. I want to get sponsored by Porsche. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I'm I'm hitting up a kill right now because somebody said, "Do we even know if you will let it?" So I'm hitting up a kill right now. We'll see what he, if he responds. Uh, Kofi, coming to you. What's up, Kofi? What up, boy? What's goody? <laughs> hey, man. Look, man, this is incredible, man. But, you know, the thing that I want to say is we make the mistake of thinking that the football team is simply just the coaches and the athletes on the team. And so, therefore, we absolve ourselves of any real responsibility of not understanding that we are a part of the team. You know, the president is a part of the team. The AD is a part of the team. And all of the people that are connected that say that they care about uh, the institution and, and football are also a part of the team. And so what we've got to do, unfortunately, uh, the unraveling of the confusion can only occur when people are willing to have the necessary conversation. Um, and we've got a bunch of people that are too prideful not to say or to say, I don't know. You know, if you don't know, ask somebody that knows. And that person that knows might not look like you. And it's okay but bring them aboard so that they can assist you so that you can get the necessary synergy to be productive. You know, we can't continue to operate in the realm of, I don't know. That's no longer an excuse anymore. Why don't you know? It's, it's costing us um, embarrassment because of what we don't know. We're missing out on millions because we don't know. And at this point in the game, it needs to be mandatory that we know our president, all of the people that are connected have to know, uh, you know, the direction that we're going, where we are now, where we're going and how we're going to get there. The excuse of not knowing cannot exist anymore if we are looking to really be productive. Um, uh, you know, as far as the dancing thing is concerned, man, I, uh, I don't know what Valley's going to do. Uh, you know, and that's going to take some measure of creativity, but that's, that in itself is a whole nother realm of, 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 of discussion just largely because I don't know if Valley currently has the resources right now, um, to attract somebody. So they got to find a way, you know, you have to really desire to do it. I don't know. I, it's going to appear as though a lot of those athletes are probably going to transfer. So that in itself it's a whole different dilemma, man. But this show is phenomenal, man. You know the great job. Hey, appreciate the call. Appreciate the call. All right. So look, I'm texting the kill, and I'm gonna bring up the chat real quick. Um, 
I said, bro, would you let a you know, I'm gonna just screenshot it. So I can bring this up. Y'all, so y'all know, so y'all know what it is. I, I ain't about that talking. I'm about action. I ain't about that talking. All right. I I I'll get that answered real quickly. Okay. I'm about getting, I'm about getting to the 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 uh the the, the bottom line. Let me see what my boy Key said, Kill said. All right, so I'm going to bring this up real quick, and I'm going to show y'all what Akil Glass just said. So any a and people on here, you now you know, because I, I, did, I didn't did the grunt work for you. I didn't did the grunt work for you. What'd that say? I said, bro, would you let A&M sell your jersey in the bookstore? Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. Said because I'm doing a live show about why they don't sell your jersey at the school. Someone said, "Have anyone asked?" So this is me asking. So, A and M alums, do your job. Make it happen, Cam. Make it happen, Cam. Somebody, somebody, reach out to somebody who make jerseys. Can do a replica. Get his people on the line. All right, make some percentages, and let's get this thing in the bookstore. I want a Akil Glass jersey, and I want it signed. All right. Should be the first one with it. Should be the first one with it. Uh, let me see where I'm going. Book coming to you. Yo, you live. What's going on, man? What's good? Hey, man, look, check it out. So, yeah, we had, uh, you know, people come on, did a church session the last couple of times. Everyone knows, like, you know, civics or whatever. Right back, I learned how stuff works. We all know that. Uh, nobody's nobody's uh, arguing against that. That's got sense. But my thing is this. The other thing that we have to learn how to do is, you know how we watch teams struggle and we say, hey, they got they got pieces. They could be further along. You can see a 6-5 and five team. It could be 8-2 and two and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We need to learn how to win. Right. Uh, you know, the, at the end of the day, if you just suppose and you look at what Dion did, he came to a school at the FCS level that was what? We were what? Three and three and whatever, two and whatever. But the point is, we were at the bottom. Right. Within about two, your two seasons, three seasons, turn it around. You can talk about how he did and why he did it. Right. He didn't want to play at a certain level. He wanted to play at a level that he knew he could win. No matter what, he translated into wins, right? Yeah. Where did he just go? One level up, more resources. The school is what? Garbage. Right? <laughs> right. In two seasons, whatever he's doing is going to be more than what they got right now. The point to all that is, is I guarantee you, when you look at that, when we start off with that, with that uh, press conference, the, who introduced uh, Dion when he came to Jackson? Uh, Ashley. Okay, who introduced him when he went to Colorado? I don't know. The two dudes that were up there were the chancellor and the AD, right? Yeah. Where do we always say when it starts? True when it starts where? At the time. what? At the, In the it, president's yeah. office. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to learn how to win. The one thing that I got from that was, the president said we have changed policies, right? So... My own thing is we have to learn how to win. We have to learn how to capitalize on what we had. Dion didn't know a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know why some – that's not an HBCU problem. But it's a, a collegiate, you know, athletic thing. So he learned while he was there. We should have learned while he was there. There were going to be a whole bunch of missed opportunities. I think that we could have cut down the number of that. But at the end of the day, what I don't want us to do is fumble what we did gain, right? And that's just for the conference, period. We complained about having a 15 grand recruiting beard, uh, budget. He showed you that you can recruit nationwide and never get on a plane. Facts. Right? Now, a lot of that was his charisma, and you're not going to get some of the players that he got, at, but it can be what? Done. So you can't use, we can't use money as a, um, I don't want to say an excuse, but as the primary limiting factor for not getting done and for not being successful. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we do more with less, and we know that's the case. But the, but the, when I say we got to learn how to win is, you know, um, I just had to use this as, a, as, as the example. In, uh, you know, in the military, you reinforce success. So 
So if the football team or the girls' basketball team is winning, why are they complaining about not having what they need to be successful? Facts. The, the shit don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, there's only five reasons to really go to – it's my hometown. There's only five reasons to go to Jackson. A good two or three of those have something to do with Jackson State. There's no reason in the world why, you know, Jackson doesn't have – Jackson, the area around Jackson State prioritized for anything. Jackson State shouldn't have to work. One of the first areas you go to fix is the water around Jackson State. Right? It's just, it's just you show that you value that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't have – we didn't have money to pay him. $375 ain't paying Dion nothing. If money mattered, he wouldn't have been there. What he would, the things that he was asking for, right, were had more of, you know, control and influence, and that's where you make your bargain in it, right? Yeah. Uh, why is a coach buying meals? I don't understand that. Now, anybody who's been to Jackson State who was a part of anything that was worth anything, I think I came in here one time before, he's like, hey, how did we get the engineer? But my point was, like I said, Dr. Issa Muhammad chartered a flight to get us to Baltimore to a conference because we had GPAs, right? He didn't, he wasn't supposed to have to do that either, but we had one of the top computer science departments. Like my point is we don't reinforce the things that are working. We want to brag about it, but we don't want to put resources behind it. So we prioritize it. Yeah. He was going to leave. You know, who's going to be gone next to Mika. If you don't get her everything that she needs. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We got to learn how to win. That's the thing. We fumble over that. And, that, and, that, and you can take that argument and transfer that to any other school at our level that doesn't have support from the president's office. You can make it pick a school in the swag. It can be X school. So my thing is we need to learn how to win, right? Dion, we wanted to pay Dion $375. And all these things you're talking about he did had nothing to do with coaching football. You know what Dion did from a football standpoint? He got us at 12-0. and 0. We hadn't done that before. We won SWAT championships. We're back there, right? Um, he had us beating out of conference opponents that most times, most people would have said we probably would not have beat for whatever reason. And most certainly they would not have come to Jackson. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he did from a football standpoint that I appreciate. That's what we got to hold on to. We had an analyst. Has anybody talked about trying to get a budget like you talked about besides you? Land you you got to land this. Getting people. You got to land this. Got yeah. Land it. I mean, but you know, like like those like those infrastructure things that we had that we can hold on to that you don't need Dion for. Those are the things that we have to learn how to win with. Hold on to that. We gotta learn how to win, man. You know what I'm saying? That those are those are the extra things that are not that a normal FCS uh, 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 school doesn't have. We gotta learn how to win. All this other stuff, you know, you're not gonna teach people how state money and school money works overnight. Yeah, they need to get engaged. That's great, but from a school standpoint. And from an engagement standpoint, those are the things that we need to go to for pointed, for, for pointed uh, arguments about, you know, what we need to hold on to. If TC is the coach, get him what he needs. Have a list of what TC needs and get it to him. If, you if had, not, if I don't you want to see him have a job if you because, had a booster you know, program. it's like you're going to – If you would have had a booster program, you wouldn't have to worry about all that. If you would have had a booster program that was getting funneling money when Dion was there for the last two years – you wouldn't have to worry about any of that, give him what he need. He would already been part of the system. He would already known where to get the money from, and he would just siphon the money from the booster program to help his football program if you would have had that in place. But you didn't. All right, Reese, coming to you. What's up? You know, I got a question. So with a OC going to the XFL, do you think Glass might get picked up with the XFL? I think he might. I think he might. It's a no-brainer to me. Hey, I'm the OC at XFL, and I know a quarterback who I coach, and he got a good arm on, on him. So, hey, it seems like a no-brainer to me. Yeah, I got you. I mean – But I, you do got a point. Go ahead. Where uh, Andrew needs to start selling a clear glass jerk. I ain't going to lie to you. I'll go to that bookstore right now and buy it. Man, I'm trying to tell you, man. Oh, I, don't, man. I don't know who – I need to talk to the AD or something. Because, hey, we need to get that going right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, man, it's, it's a possibility. It's a, it's a possibility. I, I Like I said, Do I pre orders or like the first 50 people to buy, get the jersey signed. Just something to spice it up. Yeah. So. But this is all I'm calling about. 
We'll 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 get it. We'll get it going. I told Kill Glass we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Appreciate the call, Reese. Uh, I'm gonna take these last two callers, eight seven three five, and then TG, you're my last guy. All right. I told you I was in at two o'clock. Yeah, Bama should have called in earlier. Uh, eight seven three five coming to you. Scotty, what's good? This is Mr. Williams. Just wanted to call in and congratulate Coach Dancy on 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 getting that job, getting that bag. Shout uh, out. And um, and and Coach Prime for taking and winning. And in fact, I hope Coach Prime on the way out take the carpets out that mug at JSU. <laughs> Did you say <laughs> Coach? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you say Coach Prime? <laughs> No, I said no. I said Coach Prime. Oh, I just I hope said he Coach Prime out of the well, out of JSU. When I leave. thought you said Coach Crom. I was about to start laughing my ass off. <laughs> I <thought> you- <laughs> no, I miss the Prime, man. I, hey, hey, I like that boy. Hey, I just want to call in and say this because everyone's been talking about, you know, I know that money stuff about media rights, licensing for merchandise, all that stuff. That sports and entertainment law and media law. Yeah, and we keep saying. Well, we don't know how to do it. We don't have people, or we need to go get someone to do it. I'm about to, I'm about to hip you to something that's going to probably shock you. Prairie View A&M has a gentleman that just wanted to has been teaching sports and entertainment law at Prairie View, a class. He just wanted to teach the class. He also, in 2014, because I sat in his office, and he was showing me the app, set up at Tennessee State. An application and an online program for sports and entertainment law. Go, just go check it out. In 2014, this is the attorney for Steve Harvey and Monique and a number of other celebrities. Wow. They and they know him. They know he is a known commodity. They know him. When I mean they, I mean the higher ups at institutions and HBCUs. They could have simply called this man. I ain't gonna say his name because it's gonna stir some stuff. Uh, they could have said, hey, can you create a task force for us and help us figure out how to negotiate everything we're doing for licensing and media, et cetera, et cetera. Ain't done it. We have people all day long. The problem that we have is all of our black institutions run like small African countries with totalitarian regimes at the top. <laughs> that's a good analogy. That keeps that group loaded. <laughs> that's a night. Nice, that is a great analogy. Go ahead. So that's where we at. So no, we have somebody. That person has been there, and he don't need to work. He literally does this because he loves it. Works in Houston, top floor of a of, of a major uh, building that all the concerts are held in. Lives out in the country, flies out to the country every day. And still teaches a class of prayer. I don't think he's still doing it now. He's a little bit older. But he had been doing it for at least 15 years. Wow. And that's all I got. Hey. I'm going to get off. I appreciate you, Scott. Keep hey. doing your thing. I love you being petty. <laughs> Keep holding them accountable. <laughs> appreciate the call. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, TG, you're up next. And uh, now, and Monty, I'm coming to you after TG. What's up, TG? First off. We want to thank you all for coming out to the Off Script Live Missionary Baptist Show uh, here at Off Script World. I am your master of ceremony, young TG, under the leadership of our great leader, Scotty Tuhati. And we thank him for bringing us this, these, um, information and and then we thank you for the program young scotty too had it um we will be selling uh, uh before i get to that i want to thank for all of my new members of of, of the off script uh missionary baptist church i, I want to thank all of my colorado new members for coming in and we appreciate and welcome you welcome welcome now if you don't know okay um once you come in to the off script world, hit the like button. See, that is the thing. That's, just, that's what we do. We hit the like button, okay? That's what we do, all right? So all 631 of you all, we only have 269 likes. But for our new people, hit the like button. We will be selling, you know, for the building fund, we will be selling our hit the like button T-shirts. Make sure you get the hit the like button <laughs> T-shirts. In the back, okay? 
Make sure you get those on your way out. Grab your fish plate with the hit the like button uh, boxes. Get your hit the like button boxes and your hit the like button hat on the way out. All funds will be going to the building fund of all strip and our great leader, Scotty <laughs> to Heidi. All right. Now, now that we got that out of the way, Scotty Thursday, I'm tired of talking about Dion. Tired. I'm tired. All I'm saying is, you know, us as black people, we know what the issue is. Hey, all these people complaining. Most of them alumni complaining. They won't even pay fifty dollars for alumni dues. If we had sixty thousand people paying fifty dollars, that's three million. But I digress. Anyway, off that. Now, nah, Scotty. Um, yeah, about these hit the like button shirts. I'm real with that. Yeah, uh, I might. We, we might have to do that. Yeah, we might have to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm 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 with it, uh, Miss Offstrip. You know, with your permission and all. You know, let's see how we can get this design of the hit the like button shirts. And uh, you know, I'm gonna make a personal trip to Colorado and get this thing rolling. See what kind of sponsors we can get going. Cause you know, the Dion thing is over with, folks. Let's get over it. It's over. <laughs> we know HBCUs been off the chain. I'm a Jackson State alum. I, I know they've been off the chain. It is what it is. We're gonna get who we're gonna get, and we're gonna keep moving forward. The real deal is these hit the like button shirts. I need y'all, once we get this going, to get this merch. That's all I'm saying. Because my boy Scotty out here speaking to the people, and he getting all his backlash, can't go on the vent because people hate, 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 and he getting all his backlash, but he's still out here showing his face when a lot of people ain't showing their face. Can we get the like buttons up first? And when we get this hit the like button shirt, we need y'all to go cop that merch. Facts. We're gonna, gonna make that happen. We're gonna make that happen. That's all I don't want. I, hey, I don't want nothing. I just want you to get the like button shirt and I'm gonna try to get a design to you, my boy. Hey, and you got my number, send it to me. Gotcha. All right, TJ, appreciate the call. Hey, for real, for real. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hit the like button shirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Get the hit the like button. Sure. I'm gonna get we gonna get we gonna get that made. Uh nine one three seven coming to you. Hey, what's going on, Scotty? What's goody? Hey, you know what? You've been arguing for two and a half years that these Bamas do not understand football. And this right here just have shown you how we don't understand football. We're not real football fans at the HBCU level like people think we are because just like you pointed out, since Sunday, Colorado, they say, hey, we don't got the money, but we're going to get this $30 million before next season. And anything Deion said he want, we're going to get it. And they've already went out to the boosters yeah. and got the money. That's one of the things that Deion did said at his conference. He said, I met with the boosters and said, I want my guys focusing on the NFL – Versus the NIL, so that man, hey, I need, I need, I need some money to take care of these guys, and guess what? They they doing it, you know. Sometimes our people is just happy to be in the room, you know. All them, you know, as you was exposing a lot with all these classics, people was just happy because they was at these stadiums getting sweets, but wasn't making no money off the classics, none at all. You know, from the Bayou Classic and all that. The Bayou Classic just got back on regular NBC this year. Because several years ago, it, you couldn't even catch it on TV no more. It was on NBC Sports, which yeah. you had to pay for. Yeah, they went bankrupt. You know. Yeah, so so what I'm trying to understand is all these people that's majoring in business at the universities, why is no one talking to them? Where are these presidents? Where are these boards? trustees is not talking, especially, I'm sure there's some bright business major students right there in Jackson, but they're not talking to them. They're talking to their friends and doing how they want to do. And now Dion is gone. You know, the, the train is, you know, has, has sailed off. So, hey, 
I'm from Detroit. I'm about to pull my bus out the out the drawer, and I'll see you in Colorado, Scotty. All right, <laughs> I appreciate you. All right, <laughs> hey, before I get up out of here, guys, listen, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you this real quick. I just text Bishop Bonnet. Let me uh. Let me mark this up because I can't put I don't want to put his business out there like that. Let me uh mark this up. All right. I just take Bishop. See, I, I listen, I'm doing half the work for you, Bamas. Okay. Cause y'all don't want to ask, y'all don't wanna, y'all don't want to do the right thing. All right. And just ask people. So I'm out here asking Bamas, okay? Let me see. Let me let me pull this up real quick. I said, I said, Bishop Bonnet, yo, would you uh would you be okay with fam you selling your jersey? He said, hell yeah, I would. Make it happen. Okay, that's what I'm here for. I'm doing half the battle. So we all know. Akil Glass and Bishop Bonnet want their jerseys in the thing. All right? Let's make it happen. It's too many people out here making big boy moves. Let's make it happen. All right? Let's get this stuff done, man. It's not hard. Let's make it happen, Captain. That's it. Too easy. And last but not least, I want to, before I get up out of there, I want to say this too. Uh, let me get this caller since he called in late. Hey, call you live. Scotty. What's goody? This Marcus from the bottom floor, bro. What's goody? Talk to me. Hey, look, bro. Good show today. Everybody had good points. I got my buffs gear, too. Go buffs. Go <laughs> Jackson State. It's not a problem. We getting all riled up over silliness, bad business. You know, I mean, this is what it is, man. You got ninjas out here, crooks in the castle. I mean, it is what it is. What are we getting all riled up for? You know, you, you, this was your best show, Scotty. You laid out points, how they could get the boosters, the fundraiser. I mean, Scotty, you really did your thing today. You got my blood pressure up today, Scotty. I was with you today, Scotty. Appreciate all it. the way. I appreciate that. Real yeah, hard. yeah, Scott, it's just bad business deals. That's all. You know, they, they didn't ride the wave like they were supposed to. That's all. They didn't ride the Dion wave like they were supposed to. Not in the least bit. Not in the least bit, bro. But, I mean, that's pretty much I had. But I appreciate you taking my call. Go Tigers. Go Buff. <laughs> I'm shutting the call lines down. Appreciate it. Goodbye. Like, appreciate you calling them, Marcus. All right, last thing before I go. Listen, man, I don't care what y'all say. This is weak. This is weak. All right. Now, how are you going to be the coach for the Celebration Bowl but you won't face the media. If this is not the definition of weak, I don't know what. He don't want none of the smoke. You got your, you got the assistant coach, Gary Flea going to Colorado too. So why is he the only one? This is the shit that you have allowed Dion to do for the last two years. You have allowed Dion to dictate whatever he wants to do in the SWAC. The commissioner don't want to stand up to him. The executive director is not going to stand up to him. Nobody's not going to stand up to him. This is some weak crap right here. This is the definition of you don't want to smoke. You cool with being on social media. You cool with, the, uh, with all the narratives that you want, flexing it, bending it, and controlling the media. But when you have to answer for the shit that you do and the moves that you make, this is how you go about doing it. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to send Gary up there. I'm going to send Gary up there. And then if he wins the celebration bowl, who's to say he's going to do the post-game conference? Who's to say he won't be on the first plane smoking back to Colorado? This is ducking. But once again, it was never a problem 
It was never an issue when he was at Jackson. It was never an issue. Everybody had blinders on when he was at Jackson. Oh, that's just Dion. That's just Prime. Oh, Scotty, you're a hater. Why do you hate on Prime so much? No, why do I hold Prime accountable so much? Why do I challenge the way that he moves? Why did I don't think that he's Jesus Christ Jr. like everybody else? This is a weak move. You want to finish. Oh, I'm, I'm going to finish what I started. I'm going to be with my team. I'm going to finish. But you can't even go through the process? You can't even go through the process of what defines finishing? You're going to duck the media? And they're not going to ask you no hard questions. It's HBCU media. They never ask hard questions. So they, not, they weren't going to ask you nothing hard. It's not like they're going to do some real journalism. So, like, why Shadur was at Colorado with a Colorado hat on? Do you think that it made a bad function or did it fracture your team that your, your starting quarterback was in Colorado with you and you're telling them that's your starting quarterback? But once again, once again, <laughs> Dion gets to do what Dion does and skate out of the issue. You know, uh, you know so, uh, Matrix. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh, duck, duck that. Got out of here. Got out of that. And everybody's just okay with it. It's Prime. Prime does what he does. I'm, you know, he's leaving us anyway. What does it matter? This is the definition of I don't want to smoke on my way out. That's, that's the definition. I don't want to smoke on my way out. So it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? I bet you I'll I tell you this. Mark my words. Listen to me very closely. Mark my words. I bet you on the coaches' calls at the Pac-12, he's going to go in the order that they've always gone in. He will not be last. That's one. Two, I bet you he won't duck none of the mainstream news in Colorado when they ask him the hard question of, did your son compete for the job? Do you think it's right? When they ask him all the – because this is the thing I've known about Dion. Dion's always going to do right by the people from the caucus of the mountains. I'm, I'm going to say that. Uh, people that come from the caucus of mountains, Dion's always going to do right. He's always going to play the role the right way. He's never going to be too prime-ish, okay, when it comes down to that. So when the people from the caucus of mountains ask him questions, We'll see how that goes. That just is what it is. Until next time. And once again, before I go, if you don't like nothing I say today, you can. Me. If I make you feel some type of way. Me. If low key, you're just here to hate. You can, you can unfollow me. Okay? This is what it is. Until next time. You know what I'm going to do. I'm a holler. God bless.